Well, good evening. I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, the breaking news, a deadly mass shooting on an American college campus. Police say three people are dead at this moment. One person is in critical condition. Gunfire breaking out at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Police saying a shooter entered a building located near the business school today, started shooting. The sound of gunfire sending students running. Others barricaded themselves in rooms. Breaking news, a Nevada grand jury has indicted six Republicans, including the chair of the Nevada Republican Party, who falsely pledged Nevada's electoral votes to Donald Trump in 2020 as Trump was trying to overturn the election. All the fake electors are now facing felony charges, and Nevada, in fact, is the third state to charge Republican activists who falsely claim to be legitimate representatives at the Electoral College. So let's begin here straight with Kyung Lau, who's been following. The former Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger is with me now, along with you, because all six... Uh, indicted on two felony charges in Nevada, all of them. And by the way, you know, you got a grand jury, right? This is your, your peers, right? This is people, other citizens looking at the evidence and the preponderance of the evidence and coming up with this conclusion. How significant is that? I think it's very significant for those <laughs> six indications ran. So we have, kind of, have to kind of like watch this space, but then a week from time. Six. That's right. Okay. All right, which is crucial. Con Congressman Kinzinger, among those six, of course, is the state Republican chair. Yeah. Michael McDonald, Kyung was just talking about yeah. it. Now, Michael McDonald is close to former President Trump. He's introduced him at rallies. Um, in fact, it elected president. Well, Joe Biden is president. It's like, first off, if you believe an election was stolen, you should be yelling it from the rooftops. And if you don't, just admit it. And so the problem. You still believe it, say <laughs> Yeah. I mean, look, if, if truly, if the election was stolen, you, if I believe the election was stolen, you would never see me acquiesce to just, oh, Joe Biden's a president even though I think this is important for justice because we have to send a message that even though the coup, you know, even if he admits that Donald Trump never lost, never won. And so uh, we talked about Ken, Ken Chesbro, um, who is the alleged architect of Team Trump's fake elector plot, by the way, in multiple states, yeah. right? So now, um, you know, you've got him uh, in Georgia and now he's getting these six. Yeah. And that on Monday of next week, he's, according to the Washington Post, going to be with the attorney general. When the Washington Post actually reported what he said, it does not look like he's being fully candid and forthcoming. So a big question, what does cooperation mean and what is Ken Chesbro's definition of cooperation? Prosecutors, really important information that could lead all the way to Donald Trump. But if he's not, he's going to obfuscate and, and the right. like. Which can, they, can they do anything about it if that's what he's doing? You know, calling it cooperating but not? Absolutely. I think, in fact, he, and it just takes the wisdom of the investigators to know the case very well and what's all awesome. So, Congressman, you know, we often hear people compare Trump to a mob boss in the sense yeah. that he doesn't have to tell people what to do, they know what yeah, to do. Totally. Well, now he himself is comparing himself to Al Capone, yeah. okay? Yeah. So he's decided to own that one. Um, and then saying he would act like a dictator if he's reelected president uh, just for day one, which mm -hmm. I guess uh, you could you could look at in any sinister <laughs> way you wanted if it only takes a day to wipe everything out. Um, he, this is what he said last night during a town hall. Okay, it, went back, it was five minutes. Yeah. He never actually gave a real answer to the question. Believe him. How many times do we have to go trying to give him on a silver plate an opportunity to try to stop all these rumors? Just yes. once, like, give me the kiss off answer and let's move along. Yeah, and Donald Trump can't help himself because to him and to his base, this is the this is the definition of danger to democracy. And while I can't turn the people that are probably watching him in that town hall, they'll probably vote for him no matter what. It's the people on day one. He means it. He's not joking. All right. Thank you both very much. And next, we have breaking news on a major blow uh, to Ukraine tonight. Just moments ago, Senate Republicans blocked a bill that would provide billions of dollars in aid, military aid, and it could not come at a worse time for Ukraine. Plus, the influx of migrants at the U.S. southern border is surging, and we're going to take you one of the most dangerous areas for migrants who are trying to enter the United States tonight. And finally, an update on a family that we have been speaking with since the October 7th attacks on Israel, Yoni Asher. His wife, Daron, and his two uh, little girls were recently released after being held hostage. A true miracle. And they got a visit today uh, from uh, Raz and Aviv's favorite television star. The family shared this video with us of the moment the Raz and Aviv were surprised <laughs> by the star uh, in their home for all of us to see those girls home with their parents. Thanks for joining us. AC360 starts now.